So lads, today's video is going to be different than what I usually do. Um, usually I show you my lofts, show you different coloured pigeons that I have and what eggs I have etc. But today I found out 100% that I'm going to Edinburgh Napier University in September 2020 to study animal biology and conservation. Um, at the moment I'm in Limerick IT in Ireland doing applied biology. So the fact that I'm finally going to Scotland and studying animals on a scientific level is exciting. So I decided in today's video I'm going to talk about animal biology and bird and that mean mainly refer, refer to like pigeons because obviously uh, pigeons is what I'm most enthusiastic about if you look at my social media. So just hang in to this video and look at it if you want to know some cool stuff you know like about pigeon eggs and how they develop and where they come from because a lot of people ask me that so they do as they're just rock solid shells like so stay tuned to find out. So I'm using this grizzled hen as an example to show you uh, where the crop gland is. So it's just the below the esophagus, um, I'll point out, just below the esophagus there so it is. The crop gland, and this is where pigeons make their milk to feed their young, um, is very common in seed birds. So chickens would have it and doves would have it. Now next I'm going to talk about the uh, eggs and about the ovaries because I get a lot of questions about this in general so I do about where the eggs come from in the pigeons because they're a hard shell so just sit back and listen to this carefully. So um, sit now a moment. I'm going to point out where roughly about the ovaries is so that's roughly where they are. So now when pigeons when it comes to breeding season it's actually their left ovary that works. Uh, their left ovary basically enlarges. Uh, while the right ovary, if you want, you can say, stays dormant. So the egg is released and that goes to uh, the oviduct. Now the oviduct, um, basically this is where the egg is fertilised and uh, the egg starts producing you know, nutrients to develop the eggshell. Uh, and it also releases minerals to aid in contractions to show, just so they start pushing egg down towards the cloaca. The cloaca basically that's where the egg basically it's the cloaca, the cloaca is a junction where the digestive urinary reproductive systems all meet so you know it's feces it's urine also it's you know sperm and taste if it's in males come out of here so when it's in the cloaca the contractions still keep going and pass through the vent and that's basically where the egg is released so to break it down in simpler terms okay basically the egg is released from the ovary the left ovary usually that travels down as it's been fertilized to the oviduct the oviduct is where the hard shell is made by the release of nutrients and minerals contractions happens it pushes down to the cloaca and then soon to the vent and the egg is released now here i'm going to tell you a bit about the feathers so they're secondary and primary feathers, which is what I would count as the main feathers. The primary feathers are responsible for, you know, trusting, like trusting forward or upwards, whatever the hell. So in birds of prey, it'd be, you know, they'd be like eagles and hawks, they'd be trusting down the way. And as for the secondary feathers, that's really, uh, that's most important for lifting the bird up in the air. You know, if the bird wants to raise to a, high, a higher height, it will do so by using it's secondary feathers mainly. Now the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the gizzard. I feel like you know this is a very important thing when it comes to birds. Well, it's not in all birds; it's really seed eating birds. It is missing some birds, but basically what it is, it's a muscular section of the bird's two-part stomachs, and it grinds up food. But some species, you know, including turkey and quail, swallow grit and stones to aid in their grinding action. And you know, pigeons do too, actually. So uh, basically, it just helps grind up their food. It's a muscular sac. It's really, you know, it really benefits them and themselves. And that's the end of the video. Thanks a lot for listening. This is my first time doing something like this. I thought I'd celebrate since I got into Edinburgh Napier University for animal biology. So thank you.
So this is my loft here now, and um, this is just the entrance of it, like a small square park built onto it. And then there's three more of them joined on together. That door's left open because they're out loud fly. So this is loft one, and then loft two, and then loft three is down there. Black side of it. Chicks everywhere in the loft at the moment. So they are. 